There's Omnivamp work against shields. There's Bramble Vest reduce critical true damage and can Nasus lower his target's armor below zero. Welcome to episode number nine of the TFT Mythbuster series for set nine. Let's get started. For our first myth, I want to tackle a rumor that has been going around for more than a few sets already. The myth states Omnivamp does not work against units that have a shield. As you might know, the damage statistics in TFT can be somewhat misleading. Damage against shields is not shown, which was very noticeable during the Locket Bastion meta because your carry would sometimes end the fight with zero damage dealt. Some players also believe that if you damage a unit that currently has a shield, then the unit won't receive any healing from it. There are a lot of sources of healing and covering all of them will make this video too bloated, so for now we will be looking at two different fights. In the first fight we have Cassio with the Augment Cybernetic Leech. This will grant her 13% Omniwamp as long as she has an item component. She will be fighting against Aurelia, who generates a shield with her ability. On the right side we can see the healing tab. She receives about 4 HP for every attack and this stays consistent even while Aurelia has her shield up. In the second fight, we have a Yasu with 6 Ionia against a Shadow Isles comp. If we follow him throughout the fight, we can see that he is in fact healing from the damage against Maokai at the start. Later in the fight, he catches Kalista with his tornado and he is still healing from the damage against her shield. While it's not completely unreasonable to assume that there might be an interaction that disables Omniwimp, similar to how Freyord used to deactivate the Ionia passive, at least for now, every test has showcased that Omniwimp against shields is working. Some Sometimes the heal is just lower than anticipated, especially because of anti-heal effects. So until I receive further proof that Omnivamp has a bug, I consider this one busted. For our second myth, I want to take a closer look at the item Bramble Vest. The description reads that it negates 75% bonus damage of incoming critical strikes. This applies to both physical and magic damage, making it a great defensive item. But what about true damage? The myth states Bramble Vest will reduce damage from critical true damage. Now I do understand that some people watching this might think this is not worth testing because true damage cannot be reduced, that's the whole point of it. And you would be right, but this is the we're talking about, better to check it twice. For our test we have a Chogov with a Bramble Vest and a Vamox Armor against a Rek'Sai 2 star with Infinity Edge and a Shoujun. The tooltip tells us that her ability will deal exactly 537 true damage. A critical strike is a 1.4 multiplier, meaning we can expect her crit to deal around 752 damage if it does not get reduced by Bramble Vest. It takes Rek'Sai a few attempts to enhance her cast, but on the third bite she finally deals true damage. We can see that she dealt exactly 752 true damage, which is the expected value from a critical strike. This means everything here is working as intended, Bramble Vest will not save you against the Rek'Sai. For our final myth, we can test something that got added very recently. One of the nerfs to Samira was that flat armor pen is not able to go below zero anymore. This means it is not possible to increase the damage taken of an enemy unit. Or is there? The myth states, Nasus can lower his target's armor below zero. The setup is thankfully very simple. All we need is a Samira that will cast a lot, a tanky enemy unit and Nasus who will cast once the enemy armor reaches zero. Samira reduces the armor of this Sejuani by 20 with every cast. So after 3 casts her entire armor is gone. Nasus is supposed to steal 5 armor and if we check the values after he finished his cast we can see that Sejuani's armor dropped to minus 5. However this state does not exist for very long. The next Samira ult is already on its way and once it connects Sejuani's armor jumps back to zero. It looks like Samira is in fact giving Sejuani 5 armor back. The bonus armor for Nasus will stay, it simply appears that Samira has a built in mechanic that that corrects the negative armor even if she herself was not the cause of it. While it only happened for a brief moment and it's not a useful tag, the myth is still confirmed. Three more myths down and many more to go. Starting next week we have set 9.5 coming to the test server and I have to say I'm especially interested in the announced item changes. We don't know what Riot has cooked yet but maybe they will introduce more tech items that allow for fancy strategies. I hope you learned something and see you next time.